Shalom Israel, it's your boy New Breed coming through with another video. In this particular video, I want to speak about how emotional men cannot be righteous. That's right, ladies and gentlemen, emotional men cannot be righteous. This particular topic is absolutely imperative. Now, when I speak about emotional men, right? I'm talking about these brothers out there who follow this street persona, have this gangster persona, but really what it is is emotionalism. It's being masked by hyper-masculinity. And actually it's the total opposite of being masculine when one is being emotional. You see all these guys chit-chatting, throwing all this rah-rah and hoo blah talking about what they're going to do to somebody, talking about this and that, and poking their chests out and being extra aggressive. Ladies and gentlemen, that's a sign of weakness. And I want to speak about that because, you know, you got a lot of brothers who talk about how women are emotionally unstable. Well, brothers, anger is an emotion. Anger is an emotion that a lot of people use. Anger is one of those emotions that make these dudes out here volatile. This is what makes these dudes end up in a prison system. This is what makes these dudes not make it in life. This is what keeps these dudes stuck. This is what keeps these dudes stagnant with no growth and development. They don't have a hold of their emotions. And it's to the point now that a lot of, a lot of men are acting worse than pregnant women. I'm just going to be straight up with you. You know when a woman is pregnant, her hormones and are off balance and off course. A lot of these brothers out here exhibit that same behavior. And that's why I talk about videos like no fap and gaining discipline over your vessel. No fap is like, you know, withstaining from sexual immorality, you know, not watching porn, not, you know, engaging in certain activities that may be harmful for your body. Um you know, these things help a man get disciplined over his emotions. It makes his chemical imbalance get imbalanced. Get balanced, excuse me. But what you see going on in society is a lot of pe the roles have been reversed. You got right now the women being in these empowered roles and positions based on the fact that they've done a lot to emasculate men in society. But the thing about it is, ladies and gentlemen, emotional men, they can't be righteous. There's no way you can serve two masters. There's no way you can have one foot in the streets and one foot in trying to be uh, holy and righteous. You got to make a choice, man. Because this, this devil out here, he's a roaring lion seeking who he may devour, as the scriptures say. And one false move, you done. A lot of these brothers be thinking they uh, untouchable. Truth be, truth be told. Hey man, truth be told, the, the enemy, he wants people who think that way. Because this is not a game out here. A lot of these dudes, they, they searching for, you know, they, they, they searching for street rewards and they're going to end up getting street rewards. And, you know, the thing about it, fellas, and this is message is majority to men out there. The thing about it, a man... It's not going to tell you what he's going to do to you, what he's going to do, and how he's going to do this, and talk all aggressive, chest poke. A man is not going to tell you that. See, unless you come in at a man's family, unless you come into a man's household, unless you messing with a man's livelihood, there is no reason why y'all brothers is pulling up on each other. There's no reason. Like, that's hustling backwards. If a man, if nobody is coming, if somebody is coming at you, if somebody, if you have to defend yourself, you defend yourself. If you got to put a bullet in somebody, you put a bullet in somebody. If somebody breaking in your house, messing with your family, that's what justifies being gangster or following a code. But what these brothers doing out here is backwards. It's dead backwards. And these emotional men, they can't be righteous like... I see a lot of brothers, you know, they got a lot of knowledge. They know certain things, but they can't get their emotions under control. And ladies and gentlemen, that's a weakness. 
that is definitely a weakness that is going to end most likely in violence, death, and we're to the point where we can't even come together as men when we have disagreements and actually just talk. You know, like men, you hear one side of the story, the brother here, the, you know, we hear both cases and we, we use logic. This is what men do. Men come together and they have talks. Men don't fly off the handle. Men don't do things that are emotional. And then you got men out here who are being ran by women. You got men out here who are being completely controlled by their woman. And the same thing, they end up being hyper emotional. There's no way you could be of the most high and be emotional. It's just, it's no way. There's no way you could be in the streets and preaching scriptures. You can't serve two masters. And I don't know who this video was for, but it's definitely somebody needed to hear it. So I decided to speak on this. But um, I hope this video helps you all out who are out here because I understand that society has gave us a street culture and we find it hard to find out where we belong. You got brothers out here trying to rep a block, rep a state. I'm from Memphis. I'm from Chicago. I'm from D.C. I'm from here. I'm from there. Listen, none of you brothers own none of this. None of this belongs to you. None of it. This land you live on, you were drug over here in, in cargo slave ships. Like, you're repping something. Your pride is in something that don't belong to you. That's not going to better your people. And so much misdirected energy. Like, it's just, it's to the point it's ridiculous. You know what I mean? The street, the whole street thing is, is just, it's time for us to really think outside of the box. It's time for us to really think outside of this This country we live in like there's a whole world out there there's um there's many places that we can go and dwell and represent and and create and build but that's what it is ladies and gentlemen we really gotta get our emotions under control this is mostly for the brothers out there you cannot be emotional and be righteous at the same time with that being said shalom and peace